Hello YouTube, it's Bebop307 here and welcome back to Niche and the Tiger Tribe. Now in the last episode, we were surprised by two wanderers that showed up right next to each other, well right after each other, and a bearina. But that's not the only thing you guys. We were also surprised by the fact that the bearina has a cute little baby with them. Now look, normally I would try, and you guys know I've done this before, I would try to avoid the parent as long as I could. So, because I mean, look, if they... <sighs> Killing the mama Barina in front of the baby is not a cool thing. It, it stinks, and I get sometimes it's necessary for us to survive, but it's still frustrating, you know what I mean? And I really wish it wouldn't have to happen, but one thing, this guy's gonna give us a lot of food, two things, we have to so that we have a friendly Barina that won't attack us and we could possibly try to bring in some more of those Barina genetics, which would be really interesting. But uh, yeah, so we hit it with everything we had. I think this is a challenge from, from Stone, the warrior god, kind of letting us know that, hey, you guys need to get a little stronger again because we're the tiger tribe for Pete's sake. We need to, we need to up our strength. It's kind of part of our blood. We've got to be strong if we're in the tiger tribe. So we need to get things like armored body, barina claws, maybe even barina snout, ram horns, and so on. We need to be some, we need to have some stronger nichelings in this tribe. And I think that's something we might start focusing on a little bit more, which might be something that's, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe that's why, because there's that little baby right here, and maybe Stone is giving us a chance to get the rest of the Barina genetics so that we can have stronger tigers and just a kind of a sign to remind us, hey, work on your strength a little bit, especially if we're going to be in the mountain biomes. You kidding me? Balanced bears, arctic foxes, normal Barinas. Yeah, I would like to encourage uh, some stronger genetics. Well, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Oh, wait. Yep. There's some more. There's some more. We have cute babies. We have cute babies, Junkrat passed away, swiping at the bird, and these two, while going to explore and hunt, actually ended up um, resting, uh, sitting by his bones, and I think they're paying respect to, to their father, which was a cute idea, and it was something that uh, Trinket actually pointed out, that they had stopped by the bones, uh, and yeah, I do think that they are sitting here to kind of pay respect to her to their father and Snapdragon, our shining red star. Oh my gosh, I love this red, by the way. It is beyond gorgeous, especially in this lighting. It is just stunning. I love what the mountain biome lighting and coloring does to the Nietzsche's fur. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. But uh, so they're sitting here and they're gonna continue hunting and exploring momentarily. They could probably um, drag get a chew along with them which uh, you also had a lot of great ideas about that too trinket but let's see uh sundrop got her first bun bun kill and she's not very strong so that me meant a lot to her we had jomo we had lynn and the next baby the next baby is going to be named inky it's going to be named inky and uh you can't say anything about it i'm sorry it has to happen because i keep calling ink inky Maybe it's because it's only one syllable, I don't know, but uh, no, I, I don't call Lin Linny. It's, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but we're gonna go ahead, we're actually gonna do this so we can see who they attack better. Pass the turn, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 you Rudy Patootie, Mianana, this is your chance, you are bleeding though, so let's, Ah, ah, ah. No breeding. No breeding, you guys. We're gonna let Cassian go ahead and clean up, um, clean her, clean her wounds. And I don't think he's bleeding. Yeah, he's not bleeding, but she was. And she is actually gonna deal some of the final blows. I'm debating on if she or Misha should finish the, the guy. We're gonna let you finish it off. And then she's just going to very calmly go back to her spot. Yep, that's all, that's all she wanted. That guy was in her way. And I think Misha will collect the food, come over here, and offer some to, to Friendly Barina. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I hope you offered berries and not, not, not the flesh from the dead mom. Oh my goodness, I just realized what I did. Uh, please tell me you offered berries. 
We're gonna go ahead and let Date shake this so that Cassian can gather from it. We're gonna try to see if we can't um, do some hunting, some hunting possibly, and actually get a Chu is now old enough that uh, he can travel with his siblings without fear. We're gonna let Ravimi collect up berries now. I think she's feeling very relieved, and these two are actually gonna stay together because Date and Ravimi have grown very, very close, and I think they're also very appreciative of Mariko because she came to help protect their babies too and to get some food for us. So they, they, these two are really, really close. They really care for each other, and Date, um, despite kind of being told to stay close to her mom, she went over and she helped protect Ramimi's children, which Ramimi will never forget. And so they're, they're, they're gonna stay and they're gonna travel together. And I think she might even try to go with her kids, keep an eye on them, because they're kind of being a little ridiculous right now. But let's go ahead and let Sundrop grab up her berries and grab up her, her bun bun meat. And let's see. Um... Okay, you two got to breed. Actually, I think even Mariko is going to have a donor child from Ink. I don't believe they have... Yeah, they don't have the same genetics. And she has genes that we do not. So, yeah. We're going to let you guys breed. And if we move you there, we're going to sit Ramona there. And there is a bunny. Jomo. Jomo. Actually, you know what? Might not have been a good idea to do that because Jomo means farmer. But you know what? You know what? Farmers, farmers raise, raise crops and stuff. Okay, they raise, they raise cattle and stuff and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe that's what it is. Plus, he's a, he's a tiger. He's a tiger. Tigers like hunting. But we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to kind of send Mariko over this way. Oh, you guys need to get your bunny. Okay, okay. So let's actually send. Snapdragon this way. Oh my goodness, she really wants that bunny, you guys. She really wants to get that bunny, but she can't. Ah, that's so, that's kind of tough. Oh, poor thing. Uh, are you pregnant? No. No, you're not. Okay, we're gonna try again. Oh, if only it was a little closer. But, uh, I think she might actually, she really wants to go after that bunny. Come on, come on, you guys. Oh, just in time. So we're going to let her sit down and nest. And I think that uh, Misha is going to have to reach out and really quickly fix her genetics. Because she's got some some bad genes there that we do not want in this tribe. But honestly, that fertility, man. But oh, I'm trying to think. Do we want to try to double up on the good fertility? See if that'll help or keep away some of the other bad genetics? I think it might not be a good idea to let that bad paw in the tribe. I mean, it's not the worst thing though, and we can easily get it out. It's honestly the bad fertility. I don't know if doubling it up will do anything, but might as well. And I think that Snapdragon's just gonna end up coming back to, to her brothers, and Elamu is going to go ahead and help lead them onward. And these two, well, these two are very close. These three are all very close. So I think that, uh, I think they're gonna travel together, they're gonna stay together, and their families are gonna stay together too, which I think is really cute. Oh, you guys are just so adorable, I love you, I love you so much. But, uh, you know what, Ramimi, you and Date might not be, um, might, it might not be a bad idea to kind of scoot along and stay close to your kiddos, because they're probably gonna get themselves in trouble. And we have everybody over here that we can still move. And I think there was actually, yeah, because Jomo got the bunny. And I think there's some hunting that you guys can kind of do together. So if we zoom out, let's zoom out. I'm not sure who can have a baby with Kunuvan. And you're kind of cold too. I'm sorry, dude, but you're, you're sickly. I can't, I can't let you kind of... Oh, fudge. Okay, scoot here, scoot here. Oh, look, there's more berry bushes, though. More food. Woo! But I can't let you stay close to any of my nichelings, because you're going to get them sick, and that would be a very bad thing. But okay, we've got some babies to look forward to. And we have two babies we're looking forward to, so one of them is going to be named Inky, and it will most likely be Ramona's child, because I think that would... 
Uh, you know, it depends. It depends. Um, let, we'll, we'll see. I think it would make more, sen more sense if it was Ramona's trial, but let's go ahead. Pass the turn. <gasps> Not water body again. Fudge. Okay. But you are stunning. You are really, really stunning. Oh, Ramona. Oh, Mace. Guys, that is some... That is... That is really lovely coloring. Like, I am completely and totally in love with this little girl right here. And she's perfectly healthy, except for the water body. Oh my word. Actually, how strong are you? Uh, those antlers add something, though. So you could kind of help us with some bunny hunting. But Mace, we need to give you a very lovely name. That She's just gorgeous. Oh my word. And we have another little girl over here. Did you inherit? No. So that means you need to have some more donor children. But we're going to have to slow that down a bit. Never mind, never mind. You guys need to breed now because Inky is going to pass away. See what I just did? Inky. Inky. Wait, what am I? You're going to be named Inky. You're named Inky because, yes. Actually, yeah, we're naming her Inky. I know that's kind of silly, but her name is Inky. For Pete's sakes, I keep saying the wrong names. But all right, Waziri, let's see, um, there's, you know, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna scroll, let's see, what names do we get? Adia? Adia? I don't know how, Adia, if you guys know how to say that, let me know. It might, I don't know if it's misspelled or, or not. Um, Adia, there we go, we have little Adia here, and she's got a new pot. What would you next do have, little one? She's got big body. That's right. That's right. And she's actually perf- She's almost perfectly healthy, you guys. The only issue is the no-paw. And look at her fertility. Look at her high fertility. No hemophilia. No- Well, okay, she has short side eyes, recessive. And no low fertility. But uh, she, she's really healthy. And she has the armored body recessive, too. But she is important for big body, though. Really important for big body. She does, however- Unfortunately, I have the F immunity, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing. There is a mole. You know what? Snapdragon. Go get that mole. Go get it. You did it! You did it! Ah, good! I think your brother's going to be very happy to know that we finally got some more. There is a bunny somewhere. There is a bunny. I don't know where it is. Let's go ahead and let Sundrop gather up from her berry bush. I don't know what she wants to do. I don't know how she feels about being stuck by this berry bush, but, uh... I don't know, I don't know. <gasps> You're growing up! Okay, guys, give me a name for Friendly Berina. Give me a name for the Friendly Berina. This is a special name. If, like, um... Yeah, yeah, give me a name. Give me a name. Some name suggestions specifically for this Berina and only for this Berina. So if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and comment them down below. But let's go ahead and check on these guys, too. Um, I'm gonna reveal this, and you're gonna go get this bunny. And then we also have you to reveal that. Clear away more of the grass, and then, oh, maybe I should have had you go get that meat. But, uh, hmm. I really do wish you could, I really wish you could breed with Cassian, but who knows? Maybe you'll find love somewhere else. Like, perhaps, uh... If I look at your genetics, you've got H and F. Um, Element has H and F, but you would be an I, get it you. So you could perhaps have a baby with get it you. And, oh, Jomo! Another bunny! Good job! Your sister is gonna come over and she's gonna be very helpful and help gather that up for you. Now you two are gonna breed. You're gonna breed. You're gonna come breed. Okay, actually, let's, let's go ahead. We're gonna sit her up here. And it's really important. Okay, wow, you got you got pregnant straight away. So she's gonna dig, and since she has a little bit longer to live, I'm not actually going to have her have her baby straight away. And instead, these two are going to breed, and I'm gonna let him gather berries on his last turn. But they're gonna breed, and they're gonna they're gonna exchange some very well-meaning thoughts, and they're gonna hold hands and stay close together. She's gonna let him gather the berries because she knows how much he likes to. She's gonna dig in the roots and dig in the ground, try to get some roots for him, and they're gonna 
We're gonna stay together, you guys. We're gonna be very close. And hold hands and give give each other kisses and just just cuddle while he while he slowly, slowly closes his eyes and passes away. Aw, oh, I'm just glad that Ramona got to have so many beautiful kiddos. And yes, her daughter, Inky, is protected. And we actually need to name... No, we named you Adia. I forgot. I'm Sally. But uh, we do have some new things over here that we need to keep an eye on. And we're actually going to go ahead... Can you... Yeah, you can crack a nut here. And we're going to let you crack this one. She's actually going to... Did you get another... Yeah, another nut over there. Nice. Why don't we go ahead and collect that grass? Misha! Misha, Misha, Misha. It might not be a bad idea for you to breed with somebody, but I don't know who. Let's see, we've got E and C- Oh my gosh, Inky, you've got E and C immunity! What? What about your- Okay, E and F? I and C immunity? Oh my word! Misha? Sundrop? What? What? Okay, I think that's actually a really good idea. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think, I think you guys might have suggested that too. So, Sundrop and Misha. Let's see. <laughs> She's perfect, perfectly healthy. And he's got some issues, but I think we're already fighting against them. So they might actually go ahead and have a baby together. Because honestly, I don't think his sister, GGB, is interested. Um, I think somebody did suggest a pairing between GGB and Cassian, though. So that might might have to happen, but Getachu also has the bee immunity, and I'll probably end up breeding Getachu with Mianana. So I don't know. I don't know if Cassian would actually... Maybe. I mean, honestly, Jujubee's more interested in traveling, and I could... I could see her falling for Kunuvan, honestly, because she found him. He's kind of a Dorcas, so maybe they might actually fall for each other. Who knows? But uh, we're actually going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and send uh, Misha over here, and I think he might might do some flirting, and I'm trying to remember how, uh, just a second you guys, just a second, because tigers actually do have a specific way to, like, um, to woo their partners, if I remember correctly, and I've been forgetting to do it, but it's because they were new, they were newly the tigers, there wasn't a lot of tradition. So, I wonder what you're gonna do, Misha. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, there we go. There we go. And... Um... Hmm. Alright, so they love hunting. Oh, uh, I just realized we're actually doing a custom that's common here. That's nice. It's nice. Storytellers. Oh, you know what? There isn't anything on there, so they're just gonna do it like normal. I don't know if they're gonna have a baby just yet, but uh, I think he's coming over here to kind of woo little Sundrop, and I think the claw is quite attractive. So I think um, I think he's winning her over a little bit because uh, she likes hunting, even though she's not very good at it. So the claw is definitely important to her. But let's go ahead and let's look at these guys. I think that. Uh, I think, oh, poor, poor date, she's kind of cold. Um, she and Rarami are staying together, and they're, they're kind of keeping an eye on their kids. Um, on their kids. <laughs> kind of their kids. I mean, um, date is their aunt, so she does find it, she does feel very, very attached and protective of them. So they're kind of keeping an eye on them and just making sure that they're not being totally ridiculous and they're traveling together and luckily for her although she is cold she does at least have the medium tail so she's surviving okay-ish okay-ish she's okay we'll send snapdragon up here and she and her young siblings can continue to go on great adventures and try to uh, find find uh, some adventure like i said in the great wide somewhere um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I love that movie. I don't, if you guys get the reference, let me know. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're good for this turn. So, we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. And actually, okay, I know not a lot happened in this episode, but I kind of want to keep Inky around for another one. Okay, no, we're gonna pass the turn. One more, one more turn. Goodbye. I, I said Inky. 
What? Where are you? Are you serious? Aren't you friendly? What the heck? Is that your dad? Are you... Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What the... Well, you know what? Snapdragon's older now, and Snapdragon is not... She's not having this nonsense. I think, um... What we're gonna do, we're gonna have these guys breed real quick, so that... Uh, guys, guys, guys! Misha might get killed. So how's the baby? There we go. And collect your berries. Col collect your berries. Okay, there we go. But uh, we're gonna send all of our Claude Nichelings over here. So let's actually very um, gently move Cassian out of the way so that Mianana can sit over here and we'll send you over here and you've got how much strength? Two, so you're gonna be able to do four damage and she's got three so that's six and that's ten and you've also got three so that's uh, that's uh, sixteen okay I think you'll be able to totally kill this guy. Yep! Oh, and collect the meat too! Nice! So that other Barina tried to ambush us in the same area, nonetheless. And I think that uh, Cassian, in his very, like, kind of gentle and kind nature, is just going to offer everybody some acorns. Like, here you go, you guys did very good. So he's offering up some acorns to them. And I think that uh, we're gonna let these guys have, have their bibis. And we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have some babies. Let's go ahead and sit Ajaya over here. Her mom is gonna sit down and collect up some stuff. Um, yeah. And let's see. We also have Ramona. And she's very worried about her daughter. So she's kind of sticking very close. And that bunny is moving around. We see you, bunny. And Lynn and her brother Jomo might actually go on an adventure as well. Go this way and explore. Try to sneak out of Ramona's sight. But Ramona is very, very protective because that bird scares her a lot. And even though her kids are older, I think she would be very, very, very worried if they tried to run off on her now. So she's going to try to keep them, keep them in line. But uh, let's see. What else can we do? So Snapdragon is off on her own, being this big adventurer, and I think honestly that these two are feeling a little left out. Because hey, they were gonna go on this big adventure, and then and then she kind of just almost abandoned them, and not on purpose, you know. She didn't mean to kind of leave them in the dust like that, but but I mean, she did kind of get called away. I'm gonna let Date go ahead and collect these up. And her, her um, cousin, technically, her half-sister, Thing. Actually, her aunt. Are you her aunt? Yeah, you're her aunt. Is um, trying to dig up the roots, and these guys are going off together. But uh, she kind of, kind of accidentally left the group because she had to go help out with these things. She called them all. And she's like, "All right, I'll be, I'll be there. Just a second. Let me get this mole, you guys." And they're like, "Yay, you got a mole!" Then she had to go help fight. It's like I just gotta fight this carnivore, guys, and it's becoming another thing and another thing, and. And they're feeling a little left out, so they're gonna go on their journey together and go off this way. And these two, these two, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let them breed. Because I find them being in love to be an absolutely adorable idea. Oh, for Pete's sakes, come on. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and let him breed with her. And then she'll be forced to kind of scoot away so she doesn't get sick and she won't have the baby straight away. But they are going to breed. And I think that over their travels together, she's fallen in love with this derp-snouted, ridiculous guy. And she finds him quite charming. So, so they're, yeah, they're just sticking together. And it's going to break her heart to see him go. But she now has a kiddo on the way, so she'll have her kid with her. And she's kind of going off in a different direction from the rest of the tiger tribe, kind of setting up over there. She might try to reach out to her family. I mean, she does have some of the abilities that her uh, her mother did. So she maybe, I wonder if they have telepathy. Um, it would make sense. She might be able to kind of reach out to Misha and let him know, like, Hey, I'm over here. I'm setting up a little place for me and my family. There's some berry bushes over here. So if you want to send somebody over... You know, maybe even inform them of the genetics, but uh, yeah, these two just fell in love. It's cute. I'm really happy. 
She might have enough power since they're so close to kind of manipulate the genetics a little bit. Um, yeah, she doesn't have the e immunity. So he does have hemophilia and he has that new paw, but we're gonna leave it because the hemophilia is a worse issue in my head. So we're gonna encourage normal blood clotting and I think we're gonna, let, let me look at you again. Yeah, you've got low fertility and she has perfectly high fertility. So I don't know. What about your eyesight? Your eyesight's also perfect. So... You know what, maybe we will try to fight against that. And you know what, we do need some stronger nichelings. So where? Why don't we try to bring in the Barina Claw? I think that'd be kind of interesting. It is a little stronger to have around and... Um, it kind of makes more sense with tigers since tigers aren't always raising their paws and burying their claws. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. But i got to be bobbing on out of here, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!